printer, on your computer, remotely, on your iPhone, on your TV, on your iPad, on your smart home, and even on your watch. Stick around because in this video, I'm going to show you my favorite tools for making your 3D printer available anywhere you go. Greetings everyone, Jonathan Levy, and if you're like me, you are a little bit obsessive, bordering on paranoid while your 3D printers are running. You may be out with friends, hanging out, traveling, but you want to know that your 3D print is still looking good and avoid the dreaded spaghetti monster. Now, throughout the process of learning all about this, I've tried so many different tools for making my 3D printers available, uh, some of them paid, some of them free, and I'm here to share with you some of my favorite tools, my favorite tech stack for making the 3D printer available, not just so that you can monitor it, but also so that you can take control, initiate prints, stop prints, adjust settings on the go to ensure that you get the absolute best results out of your printer. Now, there are a lot of different ways to do this, ranging from Prusa's very own software to putting in a Raspberry Pi Zero and some newer solutions such as Fiber or Fiber Hub, where it is a plug and play solution. In my experience, the absolute easiest and best way to hook up your printer in terms of having the full flexibility and being able to do so many more things, whether it be octolapses, whether it be upgrading software and on and on and on, is going to be the ubiquitous Octo print. If you don't know, I'll really quickly touch on it because most likely many, many people have already heard about this. But in case you are new to 3D printing, OctoPrint is a software that connects your computer or a Raspberry Pi, in the case of OctoPi, to your 3D printer. It works with pretty much every 3D printer out there that has a USB port, and it just allows you to turn a very dumb 3D printer into a smart device that is connected to the internet with in some cases, a touchscreen interface in the case of installing a touchscreen on the Raspberry Pi, or at the very least, the ability to control your Raspberry Pi from another device, upload files, stop it without actually needing physical access. I highly recommend Octoprint. There are dozens and dozens of other tutorials on how to install Octoprint. And let me know in the comments below anything that you want to know about Octoprint, because I'd love to do more videos for all of you. Now, the reason we need to install Octoprint is not just for the bajillion features, apps, and upgrades, but also because Octoprint is what is going to connect our 3D printer to the internet or at least our local network, which is then going to allow us to make the 3D printer available on the worldwide web in a secure way. So once you have Octoprint set up on your 3D printer, whether it's through a Raspberry Pi or a spare computer, I do recommend using a Raspberry Pi and printing a simple case to connect it. Once you have that set up, there are a few different options out there for actually connecting your Octoprint to the internet. You see, Octoprint by default works only on your local network for security, and that's a problem if you wanna be able to access it anywhere. Now, I've tried a couple different solutions out there, again, some free, some paid, and one of the most popular ones is Obico. Obico was formerly known as Spaghetti Detective or The Spaghetti Detective, and it adds not only the ability to proxy in to your 3D printer and expose it to the outer internet, but also it is baked in with an AI that detects spaghetti and alerts you if your prints are starting to look problematic. And in my experience, this worked really, really well. The only problem I had with it is they do expect you to use their own dedicated apps on the iPhone as well as the web interface. And that was a problem for me because of all the other things that I'm gonna be showing you in this video. You see, I wanted to be able to view and control my printers anywhere I go using whatever app I want. And sure, on the iPhone, their iPhone app is spectacular. It's probably the best iPhone app for controlling your printer that I've tried, but they don't have an Apple Watch integration. They don't have an Apple TV integration. They don't have an integration with many other things that I wanted 
to be able to use. And for that reason, I ended up going with something called Octo Everywhere. Octo Everywhere is another solution that has a freemium model, but also is subsisted off of paid services. And it's a really, really affordable model. Uh, I don't get anything if you sign up for it, but I believe they have a free plan. And then if you wanna be able to watch longer streams, control your printer, share streams, and kind of some of the premium features, you do need to log in. I like Octo Everywhere for a lot of different reasons. Again, like I said, what's so cool about it in my mind is that they do allow you to use existing apps. So whatever app you like, whether you're an iPhone user, you're an Android user, there is an app for you that you will like more than others. And Octo Everywhere allows you to use that app. All right, so really quickly, before we dive into all the apps and integrations and how to get it on your Apple TV, I wanna show you really quickly about Octo Everywhere and some of the things that I really like about it. First and foremost, I think it is so cool to be able to create a live link and these are live links, by the way, that allow people to watch your printer without necessarily being able to do anything. And you can limit those based on time. And that's just a really cool way without making someone download anything, without giving them access to your printer. You can give someone this link if you're printing something for a client or a friend, and you can actually let them see in real time what is actually happening on the printer. That's a really, really cool feature that provides a ton of value for me every single day. But in addition to that, you can actually share printer access and let someone else control the printer. If say you have an employee and you want them to monitor from home your prints in case something goes wonky. In addition to that, you can connect to the full OctoPrint interface that gives you full access to everything in OctoPrint and even uses your existing themes if you have it set up and customized the way that I do so that you're seeing the full interface and you can do this from anywhere in the world. And it's so lightning fast, usually when I'm not recording a video, of course, that you don't even feel a difference between that and when you are running on your local network. So you can see here, I have full access to my printer. I can upload files remotely, I can initiate prints, I can control the printer, I can monitor everything, download all of the different time lapses, cancel objects. Any application that I put on to my OctoPrint is gonna be available here and I have full access. And that is something that I didn't find in a lot of other solutions or it's a feature that is not really emphasized. So that's another great feature and another way, like I said, we've now been able to access on the web remotely and through different apps. One of the other things I said in the beginning was Telegram and having notifications. And that is a built-in feature to Octo Everywhere where it can notify you on email, SMS, uh, desktop or mobile, Telegram, Slack, Pushbullet, and much, much more. So if you are not the kind of person who's gonna sit and watch these prints, you can get notified when your printer needs something. And this will even integrate to different things that you may use such as PrintPal, even though I don't recommend them, when your printer is paused due to spaghetti detection. All right, so we've covered the web interface and we've covered a little bit about Telegram and notifications, but what about just a simple interface for your desktop? Of course, we talked about having it in the browser and that's all well and good, but if you're like me, you really don't wanna have a hundred different browser windows open and you may just wanna have something quick and convenient that is always running on your desktop to be able to monitor your prints. And for that, I use something called Flotato. Flotato is an app that basically makes an application on your computer, albeit limited to Mac. And that application is always set to a specific website. So you can see for each one of my printers, I've created a Flotato instance, and I can monitor each one of those, put them on split screen. Maybe I'll turn on the lights here so you can all see the printers. And in real time, I have access to my dashboard in a desktop app. So even if I'm closing my browser and doing focused work, I can leave the printers running on my second monitor and always see what's happening with them with full control. And I just love that. I know there are some different desktop applications out there for you Windows users or Linux users, but worst case, what you can do is Google Chrome will actually allow you to turn a bookmark into an app on your computer and it will open a separate Chrome instance without any other tabs. And you can do this exact same thing. 
Now, specifically on these two, I actually have them set to my local instance of my Octoprint using creality.local or octopi.local. And that's just because there is a two minute limit on the cheaper plan of Octo Everywhere for streaming. And I don't wanna have to refresh the page every single time, but you could ostensibly just put in your Octo Everywhere link through the web proxy and directly always access your printers through that web proxy on these desktop apps. Now, the next device that I think is so important for all of us is going to be our mobile phone or tablet. We carry these devices with us everywhere. And so it's really important to have a great interface where you can access your printer and do all the necessary commands quickly and easily. Of course, you could log in to your Octo Everywhere instance of Octopi and use the full dashboard, like I mentioned before, but you wanna have something really, really easy. One of the apps that I love for this solution is Octopod. And I can show it to you here on my MacBook Pro because it uses uh, Apple Silicon and I can run iPhone apps on it, but I can also show it to you on my iPhone. And I love this app for a number of reasons. First and foremost is it allows me to have multiple printers easily and effectively, and I can just switch between those multiple printers, look at them, control them, and even see a dashboard of all of my printers running at once, as you can see both on my desktop, which has now reached that two minute limit, as well as on the iPhone. But that is not even the best feature of all because unlike many other apps out there, Octopod has widgets built in, which allow you to put your printers at front and center on the home screen of your iPhone. Of course, while I'm trying to demonstrate this, the previews won't work and that's really frustrating and annoying, but you can see here, most of the time when I unlock my iPhone, I am able to immediately see everything that's happening on my printers and get a preview in case the Telegram notifications that I have set up haven't been sent in a little while. I can then just quickly click into one of these and view my printers in real time and monitor them, take any action that I need to, and it couldn't be more convenient than that. Another thing that I love about the Octopod app is it actually has an integration for the Apple Watch. And I don't often use this, but it's really cool to be able to, in the middle of a meeting or something, look and see if my prints are done yet and actually see a preview on my watch in real time of exactly what is happening on my printers. I think that is the coolest thing. I don't use it all the time, but they also allow you to put widgets on the different complications of your Apple watch so that you can see how long you have until you need to go remove a print, change filament or something like that. And I think that is incredibly useful. By the way, just one more plug for Octopod and one more reason to have it on all of your different devices and synced is that they actually have an Apple TV app and it is really, really good. You can view all your different printers all at once with cards or click in and on the big screen TV in your living room, watch your prints in real time. You can even stop your prints, see estimated times. It's an incredibly cool feature and just really fun, honestly, for guests to be able to watch your 3D prints go if they're hanging out at your house. It's so much better than just the default screensaver of your Apple TV. Of course, you do need to have an Apple TV to make that happen, but it's a really, really cool feature for those of you who do have one. Finally, last but not least, and this honestly is not gonna be for everyone, it is for the super geeks among us, but what if you could integrate your 3D printer with your smart home and automate things about your smart home based on the things that are happening on your 3D printer. For example, I often love to run my printer overnight, but that means that it often finishes a print at three or four in the morning, and then the electricity is just running in my printer cabinet, albeit not at full heat, but the lights are still running in my printer cabinet, the fans are still running, and the printer uh, power supply is still running. And what if I had an automation that could detect when the 3D printer was done and then just shut all that stuff off? And that's just the beginning of what you can do with this solution. The solution I'm talking about is Home Assistant, and it is an open source home automation platform that works on a Raspberry Pi or other computer and connects to, honestly, everything. Your home cameras, your doors, your lights, 
anything that has a chip in it from your TV to your dishwasher, and of course, a Raspberry Pi. And you can see here just a very short list of the things that I can do with my OctoPrint. I can check temperatures, I can see the different uh, statuses, I can actually pause jobs, resume jobs, start things. And of course, all of this can be integrated with automations. So for example, if I start a Zoom call, I can pause my 3D printer so it doesn't make noise. If my 3D printer has an error, I can flash the lights in my bedroom to wake me up. And on and on and on and on. There are so many things that you can do with this. Again, not for everybody. This is a very, very geeky solution. But for those of you who love home automation, love geeking out, I think it is so incredibly cool to be able to integrate your 3D printer with the rest of your home automation. So that is it. That is how I managed to make my 3D printers accessible everywhere from my Telegram feed to my smart home, my iPad, my iPhone, my Apple Watch, my Apple TV, and on and on and on. I apologize if I was a little light on the Android and Windows solutions. I would love if you comment below with the analogous versions of the apps that I've mentioned for other things like Roku, for Windows, for Linux, or for Android, as I personally don't use those products. But hit the comments below and let's see what everyone else is using. What are your favorite ways to access your 3D printer? What are some of the things that I did not mention that you love? I'd love to see in the comments below and please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. This is a new channel, which I am just trying out as an experiment, but the best way to let me know that you want more content like this is by subscribing and liking. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.